Hello and welcome once again to DXB Today, where today we're going to be talking about all things fitness. But to get into some specifics, here's what's coming up on today's show. Yes, Katie checked out an intense workout at Barry's Boot Camp. I got to meet with Italian footballing legends right here in town and found out more about that Zidane headbutt. <laughs> And we're very excited to be welcoming the world number 11 female boxing champion. We've got Nasrathan Fatih, who's going to be joining us in the studio a little bit later on. But guys, I know what you're going to say. I am not exactly the fittest person. Oh, in you this do realize right it. Now. Then. I do realize <laughs> oh, okay, that's that. good. We've got the tennis champion, Nimi Mehta, over here. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got Amy, who does every single sport under the sun. Have you grabbed anything new that you're, uh, you're into now? Uh, I'm really into my horse riding at the moment liking that oh you burn a lot of calories you more than what you will probably think so i had my apple watch on the other day 500 calories in an hour ride oh, wow. i did notice nimi meta yeah uh, uh playing paddle with katie overy which i saw i thought was our thing we did that the one time but uh, yeah. are you enjoying paddle more now when i'm not involved <laughs> you know being in tennis i feel like paddle is very different so i don't enjoy paddle as much but you weren't very good hence why you weren't invited <laughs> back again look there are so many things happening in the city at the moment my fitness challenges I love that new inventions are kind of coming through, merges of different exercises. People are really coming through for the family as well. It's something yeah. for everyone to do together. Now, a sport I actually do enjoy, I haven't played it in a while because I haven't really found a group. Uh, I, I'm partial to a bit of Ultimate Frisbee. I don't know if you've wow. heard of it, played it. Have you ever played Ultimate Frisbee? Do you play that on your computer? Right? No, no. <laughs> okay. It's a game with a Frisbee, right? Oh, oh, a but real Frisbee. It's a competitive frisbee. game. You have oh, okay. to get the Frisbee from one end to the other. Yeah. Uh, and you can steal it from the other no, team. It's a lot of fun. You should, we should play. My yeah. university used to have an ultimate Frisbee team. Yeah, it's very much mm. a college yeah. type of thing. For the yeah. geeks. I mean, look, there are so many things happening. I was in LA this summer and pickleball is coming up. Like, it's a huge yeah. thing. Dubai's slowly picking it up on that. So I think we should, we should all try that out. But I think we're going to have a lot of cool guests on today to kind of like open our minds to, to new things happening in the city. Definitely, I can't wait to meet our guests. So let's find out who our guests are and especially our guest co-host for the day. Hi, I'm Sarah Lindsay, three-time Olympic speed skater and owner of Raw Fitness Gyms. And I can't wait to see you on the show tonight. Yep, Sarah joins us very, very soon to tell us what she's been up to. But before that, Katie went on down to check out the original high intensity interval workout founded by LA based instructor, Barry J. This is Barry's Bootcamp. Dubai has a huge fitness community. It doesn't get much bigger or better than the famous Barry's Boot Camp. Let's go. Right, I'm inside the studio and I'm with Barry's Boot Camp coach, Connor Moody. Connor, I'm scared. No, don't be. Don't, don't be. be. We get that a lot. Really? We do, we do. We get that a lot. Okay, we're going to dive that's into that. That's our specialty as coaches. Interesting. Okay, well, look, we're going to dive into that in a little bit. First of all, tell me the history of Barry's Boot Camp. How did it all start? When did it come to the UAE? Tell me everything. So, Barry started in the States uh, 25 years ago. Oh. Since then, it opened up in 2017 in the UAE. We have three studios at the moment, of which a fourth one has just opened up now in the Al Jadaf uh, police station. Dubai has a huge fitness community already. How was Barry's accepted? So we first opened up in the DIFC um, area mm. and we ended up getting a big local community down there, as you can imagine. Like everyone is so close, our community is very strong. Um, and it's just getting stronger and stronger, really. So we're actually inside one of Barry's studios, the Red Room, and it can be quite intimidating. You walk in, there's weights and treadmills and the steps on the floor people could be intimidated. So as a coach, how do you try and change their mindset then so they don't feel as intimidated? So five minutes before the class starts, we'll always bring our newbies in. So I'll say, hey, let me let you inside just so it's a little bit less overwhelming. We'll be able to get a bit of a bond. You'll see that I've got your back. Nice. I'll talk you through the treadmills. I'll talk you through the floor. I'll make eye contact with you to make sure that you're okay and that you understand I've got your back. I'm pleased you mentioned that actually because not everyone can do everything, right? So what kind of options are available here at Barry's? When it comes to our treadmills, we ha always give our three speeds, okay. a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. However, those are just guidelines and we can't emphasize that enough. We'll say it the whole time in class. Those are guidelines. Our first number, which is our easiest, is too hard, one or two lower. And if our last number, which is supposed to be the hardest, is too easy for you, yalla hit it. 
Tell me a bit more about the actual classes that Barry's Bootcamp offers. So we have two rooms. This is the red room with our treadmills and our floor work. Every single day is a different muscle group. So every day you come into the room, you'll know what muscle group you're doing. We then have another room next door called Lift, where there's no treadmills. We think of it as a PT session. People use that room often when they have injuries um, and they don't want to run. Um, if they want to work on their form, it's a much smaller room, a little bit more cozy. The coach goes a little bit more slower. The goal next door is also to try and go as heavy as you possibly can and actually improve the muscle more than just getting a sweat going. What advice would you give to someone if they want to take part in Dubai Fitness Challenge, whether they're an experienced athlete or maybe just getting started in their fitness journey? Well, firstly, I think it's about your attitude. I think just getting involved is the biggest thing. Get your friends, get your family, get as many people as you can involved. I know our Barry's community will be there. We'll build it together. And at the end of the day, it's just about having fun with all the communities. It's about time to do a class, isn't it's it? It's about time to do a class. <laughs>
Um, and we always wanted to, to go abroad and we were trying to work out where we wanted to go. And then we ended up spending a fair amount of time in lockdown here mm -hmm. and just fell in love with Dubai and that helped make our decision for us. Um, but yeah, I think I didn't really have a plan, to be honest. Mm. Everyone talks about this plan, but I didn't want a plan B. I didn't know what I was going to do next. And actually, when I finished sport, I had no idea. And so, you know, people talk about this entrepreneurial sort of mind, but it was because I had no choice. Mm. You know, I didn't have a path. I, di I wasn't specifically qualified in anything. So um, I had to be creative and I had to come up with my own, yeah. ultimately. Good now, for you. anyone that might be interested in coming to Raw Fitness, what type of activities can they do? Is it more cardio-based, more resistance training? So it's all weight training, so it's weight training exclusive. I think you shouldn't pay a trainer to watch you run on a treadmill. Yeah. You know, I, I always say this, but um, people come to us a lot of the time because they don't know how to use a gym. Most people want to weight train now. Everybody agrees that you should be stronger and for longevity as well, um, but people don't know how. So this is where a personal trainer is super helpful. Um, they can map you out a plan. Uh, whatever your goals are, I think it's important to be strong. The stronger you are, the harder you can train in any area, even if it's running. Even if you want to run, you know, you want to do a distance run, there's, um, there's still a place for weight training in your prehab. In if you think that you're, if you're stronger, your top speed is faster. So then your cruise speed is faster and each step is easier if you're stronger. So I think everybody should be weight training. Mm. And going back to talk about running, I understand that you are also competing in Dubai's women's run this year and you're an ambassador for them. I am an ambassador for Dubai women's run. If we could remove the word competing because <laughs> um, I'm not a runner. Um, you know, I, I walk most mornings and I was in my sport, I was a sprinter. So I've signed up for 10K, which um, isn't really my distance, but oh. I'm doing, so, you know, people talk about being an, being an Olympian, it should be easy for me, but we'll see because I've never run 10K before. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that just scares me already. I can barely run five. <laughs> but it's not, like I said, it's not a competition. It's, you know, community getting together, mm -hmm. everybody supporting each other. And there's, you know, a couple of things, you know, one that um, I think, women should do something for themselves. Mm. You know, you should look after yourself and your health is so, so important. Um, and the other thing is the way people socialize, to encourage people to do exercise and activity as a social, a way of socializing. Mm. So I, you know, I encourage people all the time with this. And so um, I've had to step my game up, mm -hmm. enter this, um, and try and encourage as many people as possible to get together and join in this, this run. And it doesn't matter if you run, if you walk, you can skip it if you like, jog backwards, it doesn't matter. Just, you know, come and have a chat and enjoy the day. Yeah, I mean, we are focused on Dubai Fitness Challenge, but I know it's a specific time of the year, but I feel like all year round now, Dubai is catering to those that are really in love with the fitness world, but also for those that aren't. So, I mean, you came from London to Dubai. You yeah. said that you decided to open Raw 4 here. Why Dubai specifically? Um, I think there's a big crossover between London and Dubai, so it did feel like home mm. straight away. And I thought I didn't know people here, but actually, you know, once you settle in and people see that you're here, you know, lots of people messaging and say, oh gosh, I know everybody. Mm. There's so many people and I think it's so um, welcoming and friendly and people are really willing to help you, which seems strange. You know, London took a lot to really network and get people on board, but here it seems to be if somebody invites you to something or says they'll help or hook you up with somebody or you know create a link then they do yeah. which is really really nice mm. well look we're going to have lots of guests on the show today to dig us more into the fitness world so sarah thank you for being here and and we'll get you involved okay. the rest of the episode yes thank you sarah so now in line with our mission to promote regional talent on the show let's take a look at the performer playing for us tonight Hi, we're Brown and Big, and today we will be performing songs from Charlie Wilson and the Gap Band, which is our favorite band at the moment. And um, we're from the Philippines, by the way. And uh, we've been playing together for two years now with Biggie. Say hi. Hi. That's right. And our um, inspiration is to just make people happy. And given this opportunity for uh, DXB today, we're super excited. Junior Brown going to be performing for us on DXB today. I mean, me and Faris went to the Philippines. The Philippines have the best performers in the world, so we're in for a treat. Now, after the break, we talk to the owner of a bike shop dedicated to catering to the love for cycling in the community. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 